Congress asked each of the United States to declare a day of prayer to seek God's help in defeating the British. On Christmas Eve, Washington received intelligence that seemed to answer his prayers. Across the Delaware River, the town of Trenton, New Jersey, was held by fewer than 1,500 German soldiers. The Hessian commander, Colonel Johann Rohl, was so contemptuous of the rebels, he called them country clowns. He did not even bother to fortify his outpost. Less than 10 miles from Trenton on Christmas night, George Washington launched one of the boldest maneuvers of the war. He began to ferry his ragged army across the ice-choked Delaware. Washington himself chose the password for their mission, victory or death. It was nearly 3 a.m. on December 26th before all the men were finally across. They still had nine treacherous miles to march over icy roads. I have never seen Washington so determined. A man came with a message from General Sullivan that the storm was wetting the muskets and rendering them unfit. Tell General Sullivan, said Washington, to use the bayonet. I am resolved to take Trenton. Colonel John Fitzgerald. When the Americans reached the outskirts of the silent town, only a few Hessians were standing guard. Colonel Rawl wasn't expecting an American attack on the morning after Christmas. Roused from a deep sleep, Colonel Rawl tried to form his men, but Washington's artillery cut them down. The battle had raged for less than half an hour when Rawl was shot and mortally wounded. In his pocket was a note that a loyalist had sent the night before while the colonel was playing cards and drinking wine. It warned of an American attack. Rawl never read it. Surrounded under heavy fire and with their leader down, three elite Hessian regiments lowered their colors in surrender. Flushed with the victory at Trenton, Washington now wanted the rest of New Jersey. The commander-in-chief rarely spoke directly to his troops, but on December 30th, 1776, he made an exception. With only 48 hours before enlistments expired, he personally promised any man who would stay a bonus of $10, more than a month's pay. Not one man stepped forward to accept. Washington made a final plea. Your country is at stake, your wives and all that you hold dear. If you will consent to stay, you will render service to the cause of liberty. This is the crisis which is to decide our destiny. Finally, one man stepped forward, and then another. In the end, more than half of those asked agreed to stay on for six more weeks. 